Good morning, traders, and this is your Aussie South African Top 40 Daily Review. Now, yeah, data is still coming through um, incorrectly, and it seems to be always at 10 o'clock at night when this candle is printed. But anyway, um, the red line that I have in here is pretty much where we closed, and you can see it is a spinning top. We had a tail to the top, and we had a tail to the bottom. Not this long, but in fact, let's just get that. Because the important thing to understand here is the tail of the previous day and the tail of yesterday. So let's go here. So the previous day was here. Yesterday was here. So in other words, we have created a lower high. Now yesterday was a quite a quiet day. Um, I actually forgot it was a public holiday in the US. But um, that's pretty much what happened here. There was not much going on. Uh, pretty much a range day. Okay. Now the thing that is fairly interesting is we sort of tagged the 200 moving average, simple moving average, and then sold off that. So we'll look at these on the lower time frames now. Okay, um, nothing much we can see here. We've got a grouping. We've got a potential double bottom here. And uh, we do have uh, some buyers stepping in here. So that's three days in a row that we've had uh, buyers stepping in at the bottom here. If we shoot across to the four hour, um, very difficult to look at that, but anyway. Um, what I do want to do is just delete these three. Okay, that's 200 SMA on the daily, and you can see pretty much where the buyers, the seller stepped in, and then the buyers were coming in off the bottom here. And the bottom is pretty interesting because there's two areas here. So that's the first one, or yeah, we should probably just adjust the, the trend line like that. Now, if you look at this, um, whichever way you want to look at it, it is a triangle, either a flat top triangle or alternatively just a normal consolidation triangle. Now looking at the four hour, we had a grouping at the bottom. We are now sort of moving off the bottom with the stochastics, trending up. Although if you look at the um, moving averages, the trend is actually down at the moment. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm, just, I'm actually in two minds after yesterday, but um, we'll get to that now. Uh, one hour. So, yeah, you can see what I'm referring to here. So you've had, we're going to go back pretty much to Friday. So we had a breakout and a retest of this break. Okay. Then we had... Pretty much another breakout. We haven't had a retest of that breakout. Okay, the moving averages on our, you look at this, we are flat. So there's no real direction at the moment. We're still struggling to find direction. We do have a pretty big gap to the upside and a pretty big gap to the downside. Now, for me, we have sort of created a higher high. So there was a high, there's a high. So we're creating higher highs and we are creating higher lows and that basically puts us pretty much into a channel of sorts right now okay so down to the half hour I think that's pretty much where the action is going to be yesterday I said to you take the closing range and you can see there's our range target Right up there and that's pretty much right where we got to okay so I stepped in off there and drove it all the way back down almost to the bottom of the range again um, pretty much came back to close the gap so there's a the daily gap there came back closed the gap we spent uh, a good four hours here before rallying a little bit and then selling off at the close again okay nothing really to read into on the oscillators at the moment on the half hour but um, I strongly suggest that we trade 
the closing range again. Okay, let's uh, let me just shoot across to what's happening with the rest of the world. So, uh, Rand dollar fourteen forty four, slightly weaker, which bodes well for a bit of a rally. Um, the U.S. markets, even though or yesterday where was it? Yesterday. Yesterday they were relatively flat, so as to be expected. At the moment they are rallying. Nasdaq is up 0.4%. Um, S&P futures is up 0.2%, and the Dow futures is up 0.3%. So definitely um, a little bit of a rally underway at the moment after hours. And ten cents, our good old friend ten cent, is up 1.8%. So that's pointing to a gap up, and possibly. Another attempt at the at the 200 um, SMA. Now you can see the range target is right here. So for me, same drill today, because we're in the sideways motion. If we gap up, so I'll give you the levels now. Let me just put them in. And we want one there. And we want a range target there. Some noise. Okay, so a break above uh, 48,845, then you can expect the range target of 48,049 to come into play. If you can get a solid close above this 490, um, 49.049, but it's probably going to hit 49.0450. So 40, 49.050. So if we can get a sort of a 12 minute close above that level, um, then I would be inclined to believe that we would probably aim for for the, the gap because then there won't be anything holding up after that level. Nothing will hold it up until we get to the gap. Okay. So, and that gap sits at. 48418. Okay, so on the other side of the scale, if we break below. Forty eight six forty four, then you're looking for forty eight four thirty three to come into play. I wouldn't try push it beyond that because I think um, then I would expect a, a turnaround to come and test this channel break. If that's successful, then you're looking for additional shorts but um, yeah so that's pretty much what it is uh, 48 845 break to the upside you're looking for 49 050 okay if 40 if you get a proper close above 49 050 then you're looking for um, 49 4 18 as your next level okay that's kind of uh, my view at the moment we are in an upward channel there's nothing really on the oscillators, the moving average, just that's um, indicating that we are moving to the top. And we have quite a bit of selling happening off. Uh, sort of no real level that it happened apart from the, the opening sell off. But um, we have had quite a bit of selling through the day. So anything's possible as normal with this market. So, yeah, so that's kind of my views for today. Um, only really looking at this closing range. My bias is slightly to the upside, purely because we, we are at a major level at the bottom, so I'm kind of looking to see if uh, the buyers are going to step in here. Um, but what I saw yesterday, there's nothing really concrete, so what you want to do is stay on the lower time frames, look at the 5, 6, 15 minutes. And, uh, I mean, you can see here this break here, was hits in the first six minutes so you probably wouldn't have got you may if you had an automated trade here on the break you may have got there but that's always risky as well but anyway um yeah so i think that's pretty much uh, my view for today uh looking at what we see at the moment the trend is ever so slightly up in this channel so we're looking for another move to the upside here we go that's my view today. I hope it helps and I will catch you guys later. Cheers for now.